Story time. It is story, story, story time. Yippee! It's time for a new story. Everyone's ready. One, two, three. It is monsoon, and there is a coil cooing somewhere in the school. But it seems to have a sore throat. Parvez and Stella have never seen or heard a bird with a bad throat before, so they go looking for it. The title of the story: The Coil with the Sore Throat, written by Mala Kumar, illustrated by Two One One Studio. This story is published by Pratham Books. It is a lovely day in June. Mira Miss is busy. She has told the children to play on their own. Stella and Parvez are having fun drawing on the blackboard. Coo, coo, coil? Asked Parvez. Yes, but it seems to have a sore throat. I have never seen a coil with a sore throat before. Come, let's go look for it. Said Stella. Stella and Parvez run towards the trees. This pit is too deep. I can't jump over it," said Stella. Parvez holds her hand, and they leap across. "Coo, coo!" calls out Stella. "Coo, coo, coo!" whispers Parvez. They look everywhere, but they can't find the bird with the sore throat. Soon, all their classmates join them in their search. Coo, coo! Everybody wants to see the coil with the sore throat. There, says Bhanu. No, no, no! Here, says Zeba softly. I can see one on that branch. Points out Uma. Parvez, look up on that tree, says Karan. Oh no! Now, how do we know which one has a sore throat? Asks Zeba. Tan 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 tan. Lunch time! Yells Bhanu. Parvez can feel his stomach growling. What is that sound? Jokes Stella. They run inside and open their lunch boxes. Idli! Yay! Says Stella happily. Mmm, paratha. Mmm, um, mumbles Parvez, munching a paratha. Tan 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 tan. Lunch break is over. Parvez picks up his bag and runs to Amina Dadi. She is waiting near the gate. Parvez, you are not wearing your hearing aid. You know it will help you hear better, dear. She says. She pulls out the small machine from his shirt pocket and fixes it to his ear. I d- d- don't l- l- like it, he mutters. And I don't like my glasses, but I wear them, don't I? asks Dadi. Just then, he hears a coil faintly. Coo! Parvez imitates with a giggle. Coo, <laughs> coo. Parvez tells Dadi about the coil with a sore throat as they walk towards Sukar in a school for the deaf. In the evening, he meets Stella near his house. Stella, I heard the coil. He says one word at a time. Stella waves both her hands in the air. It means she is clapping. Parvez has taught her many words in sign language that he has learned from Sheila Miss at Sukarn School. I think it's throat got better, he says. Sheila Miss says his voice too will get better. It may just take a long time. Catch! 
calls Parvez and off he runs. It is playtime now. The story is over. Now something more. Some years are different. When Parvez was just five months old, his parents saw that he did not react to loud noises at all. They took him to a doctor who said that Parvez may have hearing loss. The doctor explained how they could help Parvez learn everything just like children who could hear. When you can hear well, you learn to speak easily too. Most deaf people do not speak very well because they cannot hear others talk. People who have total hearing loss cannot hear anything. Parvez has partial hearing loss. So he needs a special teacher like Sheila Miss to help him learn sign language, lip reading and other ways to communicate. Some children wear glasses so that they can see better. Some children wear glasses so that they can see better. Parvez wears a hearing aid so that he can hear better. He has to be careful with this little machine. Parvez understands people better when they speak to him softly and if they are facing him when they talk. Parvez cannot hear well, but he can see, feel, smell, understand and learn very well and play catch. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.books.speak.com Eruwa wee! Eruwa wee!